Hey everybody, my name is Adam. I'm Ramon. And today we are playing Kingdom Hearts 2, the final mix. In the last part, we said we we're gonna go to start to sweep and click! We totally are now. <sighs> I'm playing, by the way. Yeah, I, 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 to I do don't want to do the, the gummy ship one, so I'm like, eh, you know, whatever. And you said you wanted to ask some questions, which yeah. is weird. Uh, yeah, so... Well, you never want to talk to me. No, I, I know. Well, well, it, I, I feel like a, a lot of times uh, I'm the one who, 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 who kind of like explains my, uh, myself in these episodes. So like, Adam, you're a fan of Batman, right? Yeah. And and, and uh, you, you enjoy the Batman movies? I have, yeah. Okay, so question. Uh, I, I, I don't know if, 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 you're, if you're super into this character, but which actress do you think you could see portraying Harley Quinn? Uh, Amanda Siegfried. I don't. I don't know what her name is. Um, it's the girl with the big eyes. The one who, who's in Carrie. Let yeah. Her. Yeah. I mean, maybe. She's definitely done some dark stuff. She has, and I also saw her in Les Miserables. She has a wonderful diction and voice, so I know she can do voices. Okay. Hmm. And I actually never, never thought about that one, because like. I, I I've been I, I read like one article online, and it was like ten actresses that could portray Harley Quinn. And first of all, no, because there was only like maybe one or two on that list that could actually do it justice. Right. But uh, one of the ones that I thought was interesting was uh, Jane Levy. And if you don't know who Jane Levy is, she's the one who played Mia in the Evil Dead remake. Oh. So. Uh, I I mean I, I and and they actually show her with makeup, which she doesn't look all gross and nasty. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it actually, you know, like I'm like I, I could see that, but the fan favorite right now is uh, Kristen Bell. Do you, do you, oh, okay. Do you, do you, do you, know, you know who that is? I do know who that is. Yeah, and and like uh, uh, I, uh, and, the, and the reason she's the fan favorite is because she's actually done uh, Harley Quinn mock-up on herself. Right. So she has knowledge of what people already know, so that's why she's the fan favorite. Yeah, but unfortunately, I still don't see it because I mean, like, granted, I'm not the biggest Batman fan in the world. Right. But um, I, I do like the, 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 there's two versions I like, and that's the classic Harley. Yeah. Obviously, and I was a pretty big fan of the Arkham City one. Yeah. Um, and that's because that co coincides with her comic book development. Uh. Where she joins the Suicide Squad and all that stuff. Yeah. But, uh, the one that Kristen Bell did, I don't understand why fans like it, because I guess she tried to do it in the realm of, like, the Heath Ledger Joker. Uh-huh. And... Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so, uh, y yes and no. Because, like, uh, the idea is good, but the portrayal was bad, because, first of all, what, 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 what's, Harley, what's Harley's color scheme? Always. Uh, red and black. And, and a little bit of white, right? Yeah. Yeah, this was, uh, red and blue. Hmm. So yeah, uh, that, that, that's already disoriented. Uh, s s s second of all, she wore some some, some, some very very baggy like like uh, like, like a jester looking clothing. Yeah. Um, now instead of her doing her hair in pigtails or wearing the, the classic uh, Harley uh, jester thing, she wore this like I want to call it like like a double link hat. Uh huh. And it's where you know it, 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 it's like a hat that that, that that rests on the back of your head, but but it has two like, like little gesture things instead of one. Sure. You're really concentrating, obviously. I know. But um. And then she she had a sledgehammer, which there she's on the right track, but it's just like. I was looking at her face and her and her and her body type, and if she just if she put on like like a classic Harley makeup, she could to me that, that she, she could really be Harley, but the mock-up she did is crap. Right. Um, and, and I'll show it to you, like, oh, fuck it, I'm not playing, right? Um, it just, it doesn't, it doesn't look good. Well, which, which brings me to my next point. How do you think the new Batman movie's gonna, gonna do with, uh, the new actor? Ben Affleck? Yeah. Good. Really? Everyone's mo making fun of it, because it's Ben Affleck, and he's kind of, like, a comedy... He's a shitty actor, Adam. He's an okay actor, that's the thing. See, I don't... I think he's an okay actor. Like, I don't think he's... Let's see. Nah. Yeah. I, did, that, like, to me, that screams Joker's goons, not, not, not Harley. It's true. You know what I mean? So... I mean, it's alright. But, like, this one... 
because because this is a Photoshop. Hey, what but is this place? That one looks like Harley <laughs> Harley Quinn. But, but, yeah. but that's that's still Kristen Bell though. That's her face. Oh, yeah. So I'm like, mm, that's way better. That already. You know what I mean? So. Hey. I don't know that big of a Batman fan, but Harley Quinn and the Joker are fucking awesome. Shit. Hey, that's the Beast. Maybe. We well, what I like. I have changed my opinions oh. on a lot of things because normally I'd be on the same boat with you, like uh -huh. Ben Affleck. <laughs> but it's it's more of just like you actually have to see what they wanted. Yeah. Because Ben Affleck can be both a good actor and a bad actor, and it's not based on the actor's preference. Mm -hmm. For the most part, it's based on what direction they're given from the director. Yeah. Or the voice coach, or whatever. Because you can watch, like, a super shitty movie with an amazing actor, but the movie's still super shitty for some reason. And that's because the director chose to do this certain choice instead of another way. So. Well, I mean, like, and, and like, and like, uh, because I have this discussion with Evelyn a lot, because she's a huge Batman fan, and she really doesn't like Ben Affleck, but the uh, m m my thing is, is like, well, you know what? Maybe he'll fucking surprise us, yeah. because like I, I know that Man of Steel gets a lot of flack, mm -hmm. like and I, I like I don't understand it first of all because I thought that was a great movie, for for what it was. Mm -hmm. Um, it's it's miles better than what uh, DC has put out in a while. It's true. So why the fuck not? Uh, so, 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 I mean, like, and, and honestly, because Batman vs. Superman, I think it's not gonna... Everybody's like, oh my god, the movie's gonna be so bad, because Ben Affleck's Batman. But, <clears throat> I honestly don't think Batman's gonna be the main focus of that film. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because, like, they already cast Wonder Woman in it. So, yeah, that's the thing. Hmm. So, like, it's gonna be about building up... The Justice League. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's, it's gonna be about Batman and Superman together with these other side heroes to try and create a world and, and a basis for other movies. It's gonna be a reboot, essentially, J just like Man of Steel was. Um, and to, if I'm being perfectly honest with you, I'm kind of glad they didn't bring Just back Christian Bale. Yeah, I'm very glad they didn't bring back, bring back Christian Bale, because I I wasn't a fan of any of those movies. Dark, the uh, Dark Knight Rises, Dark Knight, Batman Begins, they were all kind of subpar. So, and I know my my opinion isn't isn't the popular one, but I don't know. You can have your reasons. It's yeah. okay. As long as they're valid reasons instead of just like, I hate this guy. Oh, no. Because, no, like, no, 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 no. Because I'm sure Christian Bale is a good actor on his own, but I don't understand. I mean, like, it, it's a heavily made fun of point, but it's valid. Why did he have to change his voice so dramatically? Gee, Batman has never had to do that. Well, that sounds fine. That's what I was going to mention. Like, people are making fun of Ben Affleck, but I have never, ever heard... Someone complain about God. Batman's voice is stupid. They always do. Where are they? Yeah. And they automatically do it, like as a joke, and they're making fun of it, but they never say like, "Oh yeah, this is funny." They just go like, "Oh yeah, that's Batman." It's Batman. <laughs> and then, yeah, and, and like, uh, I, I, to me, that what made the the movies bad was the characters, because the story on its own isn't bad. The story arc isn't bad, but like. There was a in the last movie, for example. Sure. There was a like, why the fuck was there a Robin? There was no need for for him to be Robin. It's true. You know, it was just kind of like, oh look, there's Robin, huh? Like, uh, so raises maximum uh, increase. Ooh, yes, yeah, give me that. Wasting a dollar sixty on a sardonyx wing. <laughs> That's what I do, man. Um, I and to be perfectly honest with you. I didn't really like the Joker in the second movie. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't understand the point. Like, like they just like why he's so popular or why? Yeah, yeah no, no, like the character decision. No, like uh, I, I feel like the only reason that they made him that way is just so he could be different than Jack Nicholson Joker. Oh, I've. I've always compared it to Mark Hamill Joker. Well, well, because that's the best one. Exactly. But, that's what I always. But but, but, but no, I, I'm trying to keep it in like the uh, movies context. Yeah, you know, I, I think the Jack Nicholson Joker is better. In fact, I I think the the Tim Burton rendering of it is just in in general better. But that's that's more of a personal thing. Uh huh. Is it because of a nostalgia factor or just? I I, I think a little bit. 
Well, well, let me let me ask you this. When was the last time you saw all of those movies? Uh, about, Recently. Uh, about six months ago. Six months ago. So because I downloaded them all forever and we sat down and watched them. Okay. So you watched from the beginning to yeah. the end of that era. Yeah, and, and like, I'm not going to lie. Uh, the fuck is, the, is like one of the, I think it's the last movie. Batman, Batman Robin. and Robin. Can't be a shit. Like, fucking, uh, not, not Charlize Theron. Uh, Uma Thurman as Poison Ivy. Mm-hmm. Uh, did, did you want to do this? Nah. Okay. Uh, Uma Thurman as Poison Ivy. Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze, um, Luchador Bane, like, it's it's all really fucking stupid, but, I mean, like, but, but I think that was, what, Val Kilmer? And he's, he's not, to me, he's not Batman. No. Wait, no. George Clooney. Uh, I didn't like George Clooney Batman. No, that was Batman and Robin, that was George Clooney. Oh, okay, well then, yeah. I, 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 I think... Who was the first Batman? Like, like, who's the one with Jack? The, the one with Jack Nicholson and Joker is, is the one that Adam was. West. No. No, 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 no. I'm saying the, the the first Tim Burton Batman. Sorry. Um. Um. Because to me, that's that. The, the, to me, that that, that that was Batman growing up. Um. It's I, it's it's the one with Jack. Is it? It's not Val Kilmer. Is it? No. That's not the second one. Uh, there's Michael Keaton. Mike, that's the one, Michael Keaton. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't like George Clooney, and Val Kilmer was okay. Just, just Wait, what does that say? Batman actors. There's gonna be a Batman versus Superman. Yes, that's the Ben Affleck is that, movie. Is that it? That's the Ben Affleck movie. Oh, what? The last thing I've heard of it was just it was Batman. No, 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 the, it, was, it was Batman vs. Superman. Oh, I had no idea. Yeah. That's cool. That, that, that's what I'm saying, that that movie isn't going to be about Batman. It's going to be about setting up the the, the Justice League, because they already cast Wonder Woman, and it's going to be about um, uh, Superman. Mm. Okay. You didn't know that? No. Dude. Look, the last time I heard anything about it was, like, last summer. Oh, okay. Because... Well, I don't watch TV, and I don't keep up with, like, news stuff. Yeah. Movies, I am completely oblivious about. I had no idea what it was in, because I found, like, $20 worth of movie tickets mm-hmm. to an Edwards Theater. And so, me and Paige were like, oh, yeah, let's go see a movie. So I looked at all of them, and the only one that was interesting was The Hobbit. And I was like, That's we can... That's theaters already. Yeah, like, we can just... We can... We can just wait. <laughs> we can just wait for something where we don't want to pay for something. So, you know... Maybe Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> and an Edwards Theater, so basically, shit movie and a shit show. I don't know, everyone really wants to see it, but I'm like, you realize it's not going to be the same, right? Like, like they're, they're, they're going to, it's going to be a love story, it's going to be not about sex at all. I'm just like, but did you see the trailer? I'm like, yeah, that's probably the only sex part. Yeah. It's probably implied sex. Yeah. But that's, but to me, that's what movies are supposed to be anyway. It's not supposed to be, if you wanted to go see sex, go watch fucking porn. Yeah. So, whatever. You know, um, because I was looking at the movies that Ben Affleck was in. Like, of course. Because it just said, like, what he, what he was. There's in. one movie I really liked him in. I, and I can admit that. Good Will Hunting? Dogma. Oh, Dogma, right. Fucking, you know I love Kevin Smith. <laughs> That's true. Because he's me. Oh, shit, what was I... I was looking at the clock. Oh, yeah, we're fine. Um, I saw Gone Girl. That he was in, and he was the lead role, and I totally forgot about that because. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Is Matthew McConaughey also in that movie? Uh, which one? Gone Girl. Gone Girl? Yeah. I don't remember. Okay. I don't think so. Okay. Let's see. Oh no, Neil Patrick Harris is the other one. Oh okay. Um, yeah, but I watched Gone Girl, and I thought he did good. Like, I didn't like the movie in general because it was kind of, yeah, to me. But you know, I could respect it for what it did. And there was one scene that was super fucking rad in there, and I loved it, and, like, I don't know why I loved it so much. But basically, uh, do you know anything about Gone Girl? I have no clue. Okay, do you want me to spoil it for you? Sure, because everyone's gonna probably make me watch it anyway, so go for it. Okay, so essentially what it is, is, uh, the wife is kidnapped, and all the police are trying to find her, and it ends up, like, uh, trying to be the husband. Like, it looks like the husband is the person that made her go missing and murdered her but it ends up the wife has hated her husband for so long that uh she just left and left like su- such subtle clues to make it look like the husband murdered her mm-hmm. that so that so that she could get away 
And so during, like, her escape, she accidentally runs into, like, a couple of drug dealers and they steal all of her, like, extra money. And so she ends up, like, um, murdering another guy and, like, getting, and then posing him as, like, he's the one who kidnapped me and came back to, like, her husband and the husband's known, like, this girl's crazy. And so after all of that, mm -hmm. like, she's walking upstairs and the guy's like, why'd you fucking do it? And the girl turns around and goes, let's just get naked. I want to make sure you're not wearing a bug. And so she's just in the shower, like, washing off all the blood that she just had on her. And she's, like, totally comfortable. And the guy walks in naked. And they just have, like, entire expo exposition? Exposition? Yeah. You got it right. Okay. And they have entire exposition about why she did it to the guy face-to-face -face in the shower, completely naked. Cool. And they don't, like, reference, like, oh, they're naked. Look at the boobies. It's just, like, an actual conversation of, like, why'd you murder this guy? Like, because I needed to get it away. You were just not the perfect man for me. And they were just wow. doing... I loved it. It was... <laughs> I don't know why it was the coolest thing to me, but it was, because I guess they just put nudity in, but... They didn't make it... The, the main focal point. Yeah, they didn't make it sex. They made it, like, they're naked. But they made it for somewhat of a reason. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, I'm gonna throw up. <gasps> push her! Push her! Push her! <laughs> <laughs> I know we haven't have really making jokes in this episode, but this is just a couple things I want to talk about. Eh, whatever. You know. Specifically it, Batman, because I... It's something I'm slowly getting into, but I've never I've, I've never liked Batman hmm. in my life. I've watched a couple episodes of the animated series, but that's it. And I was just starting to get comfortable. Okay, so let's just get back to the Kano Hardy. Okay. Hey, I help you? Huh? What? Oh, right. Bill needs us to go to the dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> we missed so much! Goodness! <laughs> You're here to help my friends? Well, why didn't you say so? Because you're a bitch. I'm sorry I stormed you. Oh, I used to be human, you know. Until that enchantress cast her spell. I was turned into a wardrobe when the prince was turned into the beast. The prince is a... The beast? Duh! The beast is the prince? The prince beast is a the? That's right. <laughs> Although his behavior was far from precisely at the time. That's princely, but okay. Princely. He was precisely a king. <laughs> What's this about a spell? <laughs> well, it was a cold winter's night. That's enough for now. Jesus. You can hear the rest when you've rescued the others. I'll give you something to look forward to. Look at my big old hole. <laughs> Aww. Hurry now. The dungeon is damp and chilly. Certainly no place for a clock. A clock? No, a cork. You'll find it soon enough. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Let's get going. Okay, let's let's do this boss fight. All right. There's a boss fight? It's a mini boss. Oh. But do you want to... Want, no, no just go. Okay. Try to find a save point. There, this is a boss fight. Okay, whatever. When you get a chance. Don't you fucking lie to me. Because I'll find you. And I'll kill you. Oh yeah, I found out that Taken 3 is out. Yeah. What it's the hell is that about? To Threken. <laughs> is that how it's spelled? Yeah. To Threken? Well, it's Take 3 and... Because oh, the E's a three. Jesus Christ. So that would be like Tac Thir Tac three and Tac three and Man. God, it's like the three -er. Yeah. I like to Tathrican better. It sounds like a like a Street Fighter move. <laughs> Tathrican! Tathrican! Dude, it's the Brosif walls. Bro. 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 Dude, Bro. Dude it's two Steves! Oh man, I didn't know they were part of the organization. Yeah. Let's get him. Steve, another Steve. And where are the Steve? A puzzle piece! A puzzle piece! Okay, you guys wait there. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let me get this. Woohoo! 
You know, I'm gonna mention something to you, and you're probably gonna remember it. Yeah. But then you're not gonna remember it. Uh -huh. You remember Gargoyles? Dude, I fucking love Gargoyles. What are you talking about? All right, what was your favorite episode? Uh, the one with Gargoyles. Yeah, name a specific episode. I can't, that's the problem. Yeah, exactly what I just said. Because I also have that same thought. I do love Gargoyles. I remember liking it. But I don't remember anything about it. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Donald's dead. It's okay. Yeah. Oh, why aren't you using Goofy Drive? Because I was waiting for those other guys to die. Waiting for me to say it? Yeah. Oh, release! Oh, not you. Get out of here. You. Where is he? Come here, you little scamp. Did you just go back in through yeah, the door? He did. Oh, okay. Hey, strength increase. Yeah. Awesome. Cry. Wrong way, Sora. You little bitch, come here. Not, not you. Oh, no way. You like a Zubat. See, it's the same thing. Like, um. Oh, what's what's a show that I was trying to think of? It was Darkwing Duck. You know what? I also like that show. I just don't remember anything about it. Um, it is so the same exact thing. Uh, I was thinking about Sherlock Holmes in the 21st century, mm -hmm. and I remember watching that like every morning because you know public access and whatever. And I used to like that show, uh -huh. but I remember almost nothing about it. No, no, no you, you know what show that I used to watch a lot as a kid, hmm. and like I didn't remember it until I saw it on a DVD at Walmart. Yeah, Tailspin. Oh Did yeah. You see and, like, I remember vivid episodes of that one. But it's only because I had it on VHS. Right. You know? And I'm like, fuck, is that all of them on one DVD? I was going to buy it. I was going to buy it immediately. But I'm like, wait a minute. Look, as as a uh, Christian person growing up, the one TV show that I have never forgotten and I still love because they just have oh, some God. ridiculous songs. Oh, God, no, please. What, Veggie Tales? Oh, I thought you were going to say Davy and Goliath. No. God, no. I don't really remember that at all. Oh, okay. That was that was actually before my time. Also Gumby, because David and Goliath. But uh, VeggieTales, did you ever watch that? Hell no. Yeah, figured. <laughs> but um, there was there was a time when me and Paige were first talking, and I started singing one of the songs because they have like ridiculous songs like, uh, shit. What is it? Come on, Adam. Impress me. Everybody has a water buffalo. Yours is fast, but mine is slow. What? That's everybody, a song? Everybody has a water buffalo. Who? No, no, no. Not everyone has a water buffalo. <laughs> You're going to make people feel left out because they don't have a water buffalo. Oh. Everybody doesn't have a water buffalo. Yours is fast, but mine is slow. Just, it's just one of the stupidest things ever, but I like it. Yeah. And it's called uh, Silly Songs with Larry. Of the course. part of the show where Larry sings a silly song. I think that's why I remember Tailspin so vividly. Because it doesn't wow. have any fucking songs in it. Well, you know, you just gotta... Except for the theme song. Donald Tailspin. What's the theme song? Tailspin. I'm glad you're okay. You know, um, I was playing charades uh -huh. because I was bored at rehearsal one day, and they had a Darkwing Duck, and like I couldn't remember anything about the show, but I was like, da da da, when there's trouble, you call D W. Da da da, let's get dangerous. That's all you have to remember is let's get dangerous, and, and people will, should, should get it. And if they don't, they don't deserve to get it. Well, I was playing with someone a little bit younger than me, so they didn't know, and I was like, oh, all right, well, whatever. And then uh, I got Aladdin, and apparently I did an amazing Aladdin impression that I can never do yeah. again. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. For you. I know. Wait, no, I did it again. Perfect. <laughs> That's awful. You said it, Goofy. Oh, wait. He was a spoiled prince, so selfish, and how shall I say it? A quill. I love your attempt at accents. <laughs> the old woman warned our master not to be deceived by appearances. Still, he would not take her in. You think Merlin fucked that? No. I was doing Butter's grandmother. Oh. Then that old woman ugliness melted away. 
to reveal a beautiful enchantress. She turned the prince into a beast, a shape she thought fitting for his cold heart. We already heard this in the movie. Can we skip this? Yep. Like start? Oh, really? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Thought you were like... Okay, th there's been a looming question ever since I walked into your room, Adam. Why is there a high heel in your room? Oh, because we went to a fancy restaurant last night, and then Paige also brought flats, so she went home with flats. Okay, that's a good cover story. The drag queen. Next time on <laughs> Let's Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 2, the final mix, we're gonna, you know, help people out because we're bros. See you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>